I remembered. Yeah, forgive me. All right. All right. Down here at the church several times, you know, after that happened. But I'll get back to this so I won't get too messed up here. But, <clears throat> but anyway, we found the meeting. We started going to the meetings here. And I was eight years old, and so we went to Hot Springs, Arkansas. We had to camp out in the, in the tent in the park there. And it was the same grounds where the meetings is at. And the building was a big building, and the sides would fold up on it. It was like a, a, just a big campsite uh, uh, pavilion-like thing where the sides would fold up, and they could let it down or whatever. And that place was packed. I remember sick people, waterhead babies in. I don't know if you heard yeah, yeah. the waterhead babies yeah. in. And that one of the little girls had a big leg, one big leg. She was on the front row up there, and Brother Brandon told him to put a string around it, and they measured it. And Brother Billy, I think, mentioned it somewhere once before. They measured it, and that each night, the string would be shorter, you know, until it's yeah. night before the service is all over. <clears throat> And I remember people in cots and uh, in crutches and in, in cots and wheelchairs and things lined up, stacked up against the wall. The people was all healed. Everybody was healed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. and, and even Brother Brandon, when he come back to the meeting, uh, after the meeting at Jeffersonville, he made mention of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. About, he said, did you notice the faith of those people in Hot Springs? <laughs> he says, not a one of them wasn't healed. Amen. You know, Amen. that was later, that, the next week or so. <clears throat> anyway, at the meeting, we got there, the meeting started on a Wednesday, I believe it was. We got there on a Thursday, and I was in the tent sick. I had these abscessed teeth, and my head was all swelled out real big, huge, behind my ear, my temple, my jaw, my throat, just real big. I looked, they said I looked like I had a tumor, probably, you know, I I don't remember that part. I remember I had a lot of pain. But <clears throat> so, anyways, Brother uh, Jack Palmer and, and Brother uh, Jill Ivey was there at the park. They got acquainted with Dad. And, and uh, so they said, why don't you bring your son over here? There's an empty campground site over there. Just a picnic table and a little a trash can, you know. I said, why don't you bring your son over here? And he said, there's some other brothers. He said, well, uh, we'll pray, may pray for your son, you know. Be enough of us over with us pray for him. And I said, okay. So they set me on the table. Of course, they got to talking about the word. And, and I don't know if they forgot about me or what. I, I was just sitting there. But anyway, they got to talking about the word. And, and I was probably oh, 12, 15 feet from him, maybe, or so. You know. Brother Branham station wagon pulled up. There's Brother Billy Paul and Brother Branham. And Brother Billy was driving. They got out, walked up, started talking to the brother. And uh, as they was talking, two garbage men come up to the get the garbage out of the park. And they started talking about the meeting that was going on there. And of course, they was talking about, one, I think one of them's wives is going to the meeting. And Brother Baron said yes, and was talking to him. Nobody, of course, said a word. It's like this, you know. Of course, I don't feel like I'd be the one talking here, but anyway, I'm just. But uh, anyway, the guys, the garbage guys, started asking Brother Branham some questions. Of course, he said, "I'm Brother Branham," and they said, "Oh, you are," you know. And then uh, I guess one of them had some questions about the Godhead, you know. Brother Branham started explaining the Godhead to him. And as he was doing it, he looked down, and there was a little bitty tree there, just about yay tall, a little bitty sprout tree growing up with three leaves on it. And he just knelt down. He said, "This and this is simplicity, Brother Branham used. You know how simple things were." He knelt down, and explained it to him. He said, "See, there's there's one one stalk there, and there's three branches, three leaves, but it's it's still one." You know, he explained it's real simple like that. And they understood it, you know. So they went on their way. And as he was talking to the brother, he just kind of did like that and looked right at me. And he he stopped 
and he said, oh, excuse me, brother. And he walked over toward me, and as he's walking toward me, he said, he said, oh, did you notice this boy that sat here the whole time has not tucked his eyes off me, not once? <laughs> and he said, uh, that's when he said that, he said, I have a son that's your age. Brother, talking about Brother Joseph. He said, and he wouldn't have sat here this long. He said he would have had every tree in this park climb and every <laughs> rock turned over by now. He kind of <laughs> chuckled. He said, but you have sat right here, he, or he has sat right here and not tucked his eyes off me, not once. And he tucked, he was holding both my hands by then. He was knelt down in front of me, just real close. And he was looking right at me and he said, now son, in this life, we have two sets of teeth. We have our baby teeth, and they'll rot and decay and go away. He said, then we'll have our permanent teeth come in and they'll rot and decay and go away. But then he put his finger in my chest like this. He said, when you get over there, he said, you'll have a set that'll never go away. Amen. Amen. Now hang on to that. Amen. Amen. But he said, uh, do you believe that if Brother Branham prays for you that the Lord will hear you? And I said, yes, sir. Of course, he prayed. Before his prayer was over, the swelling was gone. I was totally healed. I told you well. I mean, it was, I was normal. After he prayed, he, he said, now when you get back home, have your parents to take you to the dentist. And he said, he put his fingers like that right there and have them two uppers removed. Well, after the meetings, my dad had went through. Here my dad was, this whole time this is going on with his heart condition, wanting to be prayed for. And he didn't even, wouldn't even, and he wouldn't, you know, felt, he said, here I was, I thought I was going to die. And you had these teeth problems, and he prayed for you, you know, and the Lord healed him. Amen, amen. But then he went through the prayer line later, and the Lord healed him. Mm -hmm. So we went back home, rejoicing, of course, you know, where oh, yeah. my parents was, and I was a young lad, you know. I was feeling good, I was well, and Mom told my dad, says, should we take him to the dentist? He said, yeah, I believe we better. Brother Bram said you should, so we better Amen. follow up. Dennis looked in my mouth. He said, yeah, these two uppers have got to come out. 